Welcome to Physics Lab session. Title of the exponent is Determination of Band Gap Energy of Semiconductor. So, aim of the exponent is to determine the band gap energy of a given semiconductor by studying the variation of reverse saturation current of the diode at different temperatures. So, introduction uh, we know the region between highest level of completely filled band called balance band and the lowest level of allowed empty band called conduction band. This is called energy gap denoted by E g. In the case of insulators, energy gap is E g is very wide and is about 3 to 7 electron volt. In case of semiconductors, this band gap energy is quite very small. For example, in case of germanium uh, 0 0.7 electron volt and in case of silicon band gap is 1.1 1 .1 electron volt. So, we need to measure the band gap of a given semiconductor. So, semiconductor in the form of diode. In a p-n junction diode, the reverse current is due to the diffusive flow of minority electrons from the phi side to the n side and the minority holes from the n side to the phi side. The minority carriers are thermally generated. So, the reverse saturation current is almost unaffected by the reverse bias, but is highly sensitive to temperature changes. So, the reverse saturation current I s, the current flowing through the semiconductor is governed by this equation I is equal to I s e power E v by k t minus 1, but the saturation current is given as I s a into e power minus E v divided by 2 k t. The above relation may be written as log I s log A minus E g divided by 2 into 2.303 k t. Hence, the energy band of energy is calculated using the formula E g 2 into 2.303 into k into slope of the straight line. So, in this way we can determine the band gap energy of a given semiconductor. Let us see what are the apparatus required for doing this experiment. First, semiconductor diode ammeter voltmeter. This is a voltmeter, this is a ammeter display, heater and thermometer. Let us see the demonstration of the experiment. Here you can see the experimental setup to determine the band gap of a given semiconductor. This is a ready heat experiment, so no need to connect any wires, already the wires are connected. Here semiconductor in the form of diode, diode and thermometer both are immersed in the oil containing glass tube. This glass tube immersed in the water bath which is heated. Here you can see the circuit diagram. The diode is connected in the reverse bias configuration. We are going to measure the reverse stationation current of the diode for different temperatures. First, we are going to measure voltage current characteristics for room temperature. So, note down the room temperature say approximately 27 degrees Celsius. So, in this box we have two display to see the voltage and current values. Here you have a voltage knob, just you rotate the voltage knob, you can set the voltage 1, the corresponding current value displayed here. So, current value in microamps range, then you rotate the voltage knob. set voltage to the corresponding current value, you can see the display here 3.8 microamps. Same way you can fix that three volt
फोर वोल्ट and 5 volt the corresponding current values are note down in your tabular column the same set of readings are repeated for different temperatures 50 degree celsius 70 degree celsius and 90 degree celsius for that now we are going to switch on the heater the temperature rises slowly from room temperature to 95 degree celsius for reaching 95 degree celsius temperature it will take 10 or 15 minutes once temperature reached 95 degree celsius then switch off the heater and glass tube take it out from the water bath kept it outside thereafter we need to measure voltage current characteristics of diode for 90 degree celsius 70 degree celsius and 50 degree celsius temperature while cooling the temperature the values are note down in the tabular column for room temperature 1 volt the corresponding current value 2 volt corresponding current value 3 4 and 5 the corresponding current values are noted the same set of readings note down for 90 degrees celsius 70 degrees celsius and 50 degrees celsius while cooling from the table you can observe if we increase the voltage corresponding current values also increases for all the temperatures we need to find out saturation current is for each temperature then the reverse bias voltage current characteristics of the diode for different temperatures floated as voltage in x axis current in y axis in x axis we have fixed voltages 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt 4 volt 5 volt for all the temperatures the different current values are in y axis if we plot the graph we have obtained straight line like this if we extra plot the straight line it will meet some value of the current in y axis that value of current is called reverse saturation current for that particular temperature for example so room temperature t1 the same way we need to plot the graph for other temperatures the saturation current is value for different temperatures are noted from the graph a noted down in the tabular column then inverse the temperature and take log of reverse saturation current for each temperature while taking log of reverse saturation current reverse saturation current in microamps we need to take log microamps so once you take log of microamps the values are in minus then another graph is plotted between the log saturation current and inverse temperature as shown in the figure the straight line graph is obtained then the slope of the straight line is determined and the band gap energy is calculated using the formula eg is equal to 2.303 into 
into k into slope divided by 1.6 into 10 to minus 19 electron volt where k is Boltzmann constant 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joule per Kelvin. So, in this way you can calculate the band gap energy of a given semiconductor and finally, result the band gap energy of the given semiconductor is found to be this much value in electron volt. I hope now you understood how to determine the band gap of a given semiconductor. Thank you.